welcome back to the Golf Cart Experts here at Golf Cart Tire Supply. Today we're going to be installing seat covers on a 2007 EZGO TXT. The techniques learned in this video can be used on any golf cart, but today we're using an EZGO. These are the tools you're going to need for today's installation. For stretching the vinyl around tight corners, a heat gun is going to be super helpful. The easiest way to attach the vinyl to the seat back is going to be a pneumatic stapler, although one of the squeeze staplers will work as well. Always have extra staples because you are going to run out. And for our specific installation today, we're going to need a T20 Torx wrench and a 716 socket. Prior to the installation of the seat covers, we're going to need to remove the hip restraints as well as the seat hinges to be able to reattach the new seat covers. We're going to start with the seat bottom installation. Just lay the seat bottom cover out on the table. It should be symmetrical, so however you have it laid out is going to work just fine. When you set the seat in there, the corners should be heat treated when they're manufactured, so they will hug the corners of the seat fairly well, which will help you position the seat cover to be stable. The next step in the process is to make sure that you do in fact have it centered. Even though the corners are heat molded, what I like to do is make sure that the center axis on both the width and the length are perfectly centered. In able to do that, I like to take a staple and place it on each side. These will be ones that you pull out eventually. And the corners do not have to look good when you're doing this. This is simply to make sure that you do in fact have it centered or very close to center. Once I have the initial four staples in, I'm going to flip it over to look at the heat press lines that they have in the seat from the factory to make sure that they are generally centered. And based off of where these are sitting, it looks like we did a pretty good job. Now that we have the vinyl centered on the seat cushion, we're gonna flip it back over and start pulling from the corners and from the sides and stapling it down. Every seat cover is going to be different, but for the EasyGo TXT, you're gonna to wanna to start on the edge here because this is where the contours are the greatest and that's where you're gonna to wanna to do it on any seat that you do. You may be wondering why I created a bunch in all four corners, but that's because this is going to be easier to pull all of the excess around the corner and you'll end up stapling along the edge and cutting off the excess away to give it a nice smooth edge on the seat cover. Now that we've got a perimeter stapled around the bottom of the seat, I'm going to use a sharp box knife to go along and cut all of the excess off that has been drawn to the center. Now that we have it all stapled in and cut along the edge, all you're going to need to do is put the hip restraints and the seat hinges back on to be able to complete the seat bottom portion of the project. Now for the seat back on any golf cart, you're going to repeat the same exact process that we did for the seat bottom. The only difference is on all seat backs for golf carts, you're going to have a contour in the middle of the seat, which we did not have on the seat bottom. So when you lay the vinyl out for this seat back, you just want to make sure that the seat contours match the seat contours on the vinyl.
And this concludes the installation of the seat covers for the EasyGo TXT. If you'd like more content just like this, please hit the subscribe button and you can purchase these seat covers in the link in the description. Thanks for watching.